Guess what I stumbled upon today, my friend? A local coffee shop that just popped up in the neighborhood. Can you believe this? Just around the corner, tucked away from the bustle, perfect for some zen-like quiet. No kidding, it's like they built a whole new universe in there. I mean, just wait until you see it for yourself. I spent my evening there soaking up the calming atmosphere, lost in the tranquility, reading this book about zen. Interesting, right? I mean me, a cooking fanatic, with a fried egg on toast breakfast every day and evening shifts at an Italian joint, diving into zen. Life sure works in mysterious ways, buddy. I met a new friend, too, Yuna, quite the scholar when it comes to multicultural aspects. Do you remember Ju Wan talking about the power of now the other day? I've been reading that lately, too, giving me a whole new perspective to see things from. And let me tell you, reading about Zen on top of that, it's like adding a secret ingredient to your favorite dish, enriches the experience, like a symphony of senses in harmony, you know. I was discussing this with Yuna and Ju Huan, each of us bringing a piece of ourselves to the table with our fresh reads. Yuna was curious about how Zen coincided with the power of now, and I gotta say it marinated quite well. Ah, Ju Huan found it amusing how I've jumped from coding to Zen. Well, that's the exhilarating thing about life, I guess. Just like you don't know what the oven's gonna do to a novel recipe, life never ceases to surprise me with its experiments. By the way, cooking session at Juwan's place on Sunday. Want a taste of my culinary skills? Yuna cooked with sea kelp for the first time. I think she's got something fantastic brewing there. And oh, speaking of surprises, Yuna recommended this new Korean sci-fi movie, Space Odyssey 2023. Sounds right up our alley. CGI and all, you know how I cherish a good flick with some popcorn and soda. All right, it's getting late here. Gotta wake up early tomorrow for my shift at the restaurant. Catch you soon, my friend. You know what's funny, my friend? I started today with this grand plan to create a unique bibimbap. Yes, with fresh veggies from my organic garden. If only you could have seen them. Sun shining on the dew-covered leaves almost asking me to pick them. It was straight out of a fairy tale, like somehow my tiny garden had become this enchanted forest. Of course, once I actually got my hands dirty, it was a battlefield. I even got little scratches from the artichokes, can you believe it? And don't even get me started on how slippery zucchinis can be. You would think I was wrestling an Olympic champ. After a good harvest, it was go time in my kitchen. You know how I love to experiment so I wanted to craft something new with my fresh loot. I was immediately drawn to the idea of bibimbap. Ah, the beauty of bibimbap, my friend. Rice with mixed veggies on top. Tis like the canvas of the culinary world. Like a painting, but our palate contained fresh veggies of all colors and flavors. Each type of vegetable, its raw scent and flavor, it's akin to the strokes of a paintbrush, bringing colors alive on a white canvas. Isn't it amazing how the simple act of dicing and sautéing veggies can remind you of home? Of mom's kitchen, steam fogging up the windows, the aroma of garlic being chopped on the wooden chopping board. You know, it was quite an experience. I had a chat about it with Yuna and Juwan, and no surprises, they are all eager to try it. I've even invited them over for a cookout next time. Juwan's reaction was priceless when he found out about my secret organic garden. Yuna seemed thrilled about the idea. Knowing her, she might just capture the entire cookout on film. You know how she loves her documentaries. I think capturing these moments for what they are, slicing and dicing, laughter, testing and improvising. It's a kind of art too, right? They were joking about how different our days were. Yuna diving deep to film aquatic life, Juwan trying to streamline his code, and me fighting with artichokes and zucchinis. I swear our group can really make a sitcom series. On a serious note, my friend, the difference the garden vegetables made was stunning. I wish you could have a taste. I never realized how much more vibrant the flavors could be. It's like they were proudly boasting their freshness. It's a taste of nature, really, of the earth and the sunshine and the rain all in one dish. That's the magic of cooking, I guess, to bring comfort joy, and a bit of Mother Earth to your plate.
On another note, I've also come to realize that it's the little things that bring real joy, like the surprise of a homegrown veggie garden or the charm of that new coffee shop from the other day, tucked away in peace. The place has become my newfound favorite spot to relax. I'm probably making it my second home. Meditation, my book on Zen, a buzzing cafe, and a homemade bibimbap. Crazy mix, huh? You know what's funny, my friend? The most fascinating food adventure unfolded today. Su Min, my mate at the Italian joint, we decided to embark on a mini culinary expedition. Yeah, we're planning to host a cooking event, a mix of Italian and Korean cuisine, if you can believe it. Imagine, a cross between spaghetti and bibimbap. Sounds wild, right? During our chat with Ju Wan and Yuna today, we had some lighthearted banter about this fusion feast of ours. And oh, you should have seen Ju Wan's face when we told him about it. His eyes lit up brighter than a perfectly golden brown loaf straight out of the oven. He's such a foodie. Yuna, on the other hand, threw in her request for seafood. Her passion for the ocean never ceases to amaze me, you know. Our little chat took an unexpected turn when Juwan complained about his tragically gluten-free life. Apparently he lost a bet, and now he's banned from bread. Of course I assured him that we'll whip up something gluten-free and delicious. Yuna then threw a curveball suggesting kimchi-flavored spaghetti. I gotta say, the idea intrigued me. It would be quite a challenge to balance the spicy tang of kimchi with spaghetti. Just to tease Juwan, I did mention sourdough, and he immediately pictured me tuning the loaf like you tune a guitar. It was really a laugh riot. There are just too many ideas popping up. I think we ended up creating an entire menu for our upcoming feast. Juwan ended it all by promising me coding lessons if I baked him a special gluten-free loaf. Sounds fair to me. Can you believe our motley crew, my friend? An ocean enthusiast, a coding junkie, a professional taste tester, and yours truly, a feisty cook with a football background. Each bringing a vastly different flavor like a perfect fusion dish, don't you think? Well, I feel like I am in the midst of a thrilling food story with different characters, preferences, and interests. It feels amazing how something as simple as love for food can connect the dots.